Did you say make from scratch hardware and software? Oh, yeah, Did I hear you Absolutely. Correctly? Absolutely. So I'm a machinist by trade. So I come from the school of people where you had to learn how to grind a lathe tool before you could use the lathe. And same thing with the mills. Well, my background is also uh, electronics, fabrication, basically all these things from scratch. So what we've done together with ourselves and with our customers is say, oh, you need a laser to measure something? Doesn't exist? Well, I'll spec out the hardware. He'll help us with the financial stuff. Our other guy, Matt, over there that's talking right now, we'll all build that together. Hello, my friends. It's so good to see you again. Thank you for being here, and welcome back to MTD CNC. Today, I'm with JBM Technologies, representing the industry's top machine tools. Machines like Kitamura and Leadwell and Schmeck and Litz and VTech and man, this thing goes on and on, but I see some really great machines. Hanwha, Bumotech, Starreg, Amada, the list goes on and on, but I have the experts with me, just like I always do. Please welcome John and Ben. And John, let's start with you, my friend. Let's learn a little bit about the history of mm -hmm. JBM Technologies. All right, well, thank you, Tony. Thank you for coming to check us out. So JBM's been in business for over 40 years. Uh, we based ourselves as a technical company. So our owner's initial background was service. And then from service, he went to machine design. And his machine designs were so good that he did well, moved into sales. And then from sales, we developed JBM into what it is today, which is a full spectrum dealership. So we have technology solutions, partnerships, and everything in between. Well, John, learning from the audience and learning what they like to hear, the fact that you said starting with service and then moving in, is going to get to one of the topics we're going to discuss today about how important service is, right? Way to start the company in that way. Now, if you pass the mic over to Ben, I know Ben is, is really educated on what partnerships mean, what partnerships mean to your company, and not just to you, but as an industry, we're all trying to do the best we can, and we're doing a really good job here at JBM Technologies. Ben, would you mind elaborating on what these partnerships mean? Because we've already started with a whole smorgasbord of machine tools here, right? A smorgasbord. So obviously, in order to support everyone you work with, it must matter that you care. From our standpoint, JBM, are we a machine distributor? Yes, we are. But really, at the end of the day, the way we look at it and the way our business model is, is we're a partner to our end user. Uh, if they're not making chips, they're not making money, right? And if they're not making money, they're certainly not buying machines. And that's what we're here to do. You know, we're a full service uh, distributor. We, we can be as hands-on or as hands-off as somebody wants to be. We can place a machine on your floor and get out of the way, especially if you know what you're doing. Uh, or we can develop a full process and turnkey solution for an end user. Uh, and what makes us unique is that We've got the talent and the staff behind us in order to make that possible. From the, the technology center that we opened up in Lancaster to the three standalone facilities that we have, which house both spare parts as well as equipment and support staff for JBM. You said all the right things, that is for sure. One thing that stuck out to me, which I think is important, as we're moving into the world of being autonomously running, full automation, running through nights and weekends, is the fact that you said turnkey. Now, turnkey is important because oftentimes, and I've been in the shops where people are doing this, much like yourself, most likely, where they go, I just received this job, and I need to get it done. Would you mind helping me with my programming and my turnkey? You. Do you have a, an operator to give me? <laughs> you know, that comes up all the time. So, so yes, being a partner and being able to provide those solutions is really what we focus on to set us apart. Yeah, very well said. And great, great energy when it comes to that world of helping people out. So we appreciate that, Ben. If you want to pass the microphone over, because... As we segue from, well, now we can do turnkey, and now we've excited people that you can help them, and we've done, the, again, for the use of the word and for fun, the smorgasbord of uh, technology we have. Let's talk about that technology, John. Let's sure. talk about what's important to you, the different brands, mm -hmm. and where you focus mm -hmm. industry-wide or very fine-tuned. You let us know. Absolutely. So we cover all modern manufacturing. So my background is mostly high-precision, high-complexity production machining. So we're talking 11 axis mill turn, unattended five axis with robots, holding single digit micron repeatability. So that's been my career 
my whole life, and it's still my career today. So I specialize in that, but we also have job shop people. We have wire EDM people. So we got everything from mill turn to grinders, everything in between. So from simple manual tasks to fully automated, lights out, fully inspected, closed loop processes. So basically what we do is we leverage technology for the most value add. So now that sounds generic because what does value add mean? So you just say anything. But really what it comes down to is we'll develop our own math, we'll develop our own hardware and software from scratch or with our existing partnerships such as our brands, our supply chain, and with our customers. And then what we deliver is a documented process that works. So it's very easy to claim things, but when you show up and you press cycle start and you get that result and then you get a year's worth of work done in five months and your repeatability is like so good you're checking if the CMM's on, you know, <laughs> like, is this right, you know? So that's what we do. So, and like Ben said, like that's how we partner with people. So you might have an operator and you might not need a full-time setup guy that's very expensive in that department. So, but if you have the opportunity, Guess what? Now we help you with that and it's it's so much more economical to hire experts like us than it is to struggle through something, turn in your work late, have issues and constantly just running around robin and then pulling us in at the 11th hour. So if you do it on the front end it's great, you know? So basically we try to add that kind of value through the tech, through science, applied mathematics. That's how we do it. So, Well, two things for that, John. One, you sound like my high school days. We're turning in things <laughs> late and running around like crazy. And two, I almost interrupted you, but I didn't because he was on a really good rant there. Is, did you say make from scratch hardware and software? Oh, did yeah. I hear you Absolutely. correctly? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm a machinist by trade. So I come from the school of people where you had to learn how to grind a lathe tool before you could use the lathe. And same thing with the mills. Well, my background is also uh, electronics, fabrication, basically all these things from scratch. So what we've done together with ourselves and with our customers is say, oh, you need a laser to measure something? Doesn't exist? Well, I'll spec out the hardware. He'll help us with the financial stuff. Our other guy, Matt, over there that's talking right now, We'll all build that together. We'll 3D print an enclosure to test it all out. We'll make it industrially capable and we'll execute it and we have great uptime. So, and guess what? When you need service, we made it. We know exactly how it works. But basically what we do is we create things that need to exist. So uh, it's basically applied sciences, but it, metalworking industry, all that stuff comes together. So, uh, and it works. So. Uh, our stuff is very good, but I can't get too into the NDA territory. So I'm like, oh, okay, we can't really talk about that, but it works very well. So perhaps we should sit down some other time and show some of this technology that we're referring to. Well, so. I like that you are having fun with it. You may also earn, insert the mind blown emoji right about now because ah. that was fascinating. If you wouldn't mind handing the microphone back over to Ben. We've talked about the technology now, right, Ben? Mm -hmm. So. And we talked about bringing this all the way full circle. We started with service and support, and we're going to bring it back to service and support with all these different machines and everything that John's been talking about. How important is it to you to know what their service and support is like when we're talking about over 40 years of being in business? And Ben, that's what we're going to discuss now, right? Yeah, being, a, being in business for 40 years really gives us an advantage, uh, especially in this industry. It, it allows us to pull from from people that have been with the company from the beginning, uh, John Watkins type, uh, who has the know-how from his, his time when he was with the builders. Um, it, it allows us to pull from uh, Christian, who's our head of uh, service, uh, who's been working on the Kitamuras and the Samsungs for, for years. Uh, what, what's nice is a lot of times you'll, you'll get texts in, right, and they're on the phone a lot trying to figure out what's going on. A lot of times, our technicians can help you out over the phone with just a little explanation of what's going on. And at the end of the day, it's about that partnership, right? Saving the end user money, saving people time, making chips, making money, buying new machines. Ben, I'm going to be Captain Obvious, like I do sometimes, but I'm going to be Captain Obvious and say, have you heard that saying, you can sell the first machine, but you won't sell anymore without service and support? That's 100% true, and that's a motto that we live by. You know, everybody says they got service, right? But how do you know if you got service until you need service? 
Yeah, very yeah, well it, said. It, you know. Well, I'm going to close this thing out. Um, the audience has probably learned a ton right, back, right about now. Thank you all for watching. But I have to close it out with one last question. You guys look kind of young. Is there something going on internally where you're developing a whole new workforce? I'll let, uh, I'll let John take that one. <laughs> yeah? You're going to take let John take that one Thank over, you, Ben. Huh? So that is correct, Tony. So uh, we're entering our next generation management. So basically, John Watkins has picked four people in his company, his team, to carry the torch forward. One of the most important things is, is what is the average age of the companies you rely on? So for us, we're in a very comfortable sweet spot. So what is it, mid 40s, something like that around there? So Benjamin Comer, myself, Ashley Watkins, and Christian Kelly are fielding the next charge so that we can expand and grow and continue. And with the guidance of our original owner, John Watkins, we're basically able to carry a torch in a way that few people can. So we add value to people that multiply it to others. Carrying the torch in a way that few people can. I can't say it by be better myself. There is no better closing than that. John, Ben, thank you so much for your time. And I'm very happy to hear that mid-40s is the sweet spot, because that's where I am, too. Hey. <laughs> thank you both for joining me. Thank you all for watching. This is JBM Technologies. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it.